Welcome back everyone. So it's me Larry. So we are going to continue with my tutorials on the Delphi and MySQL. Today uh, we will do what you're seeing on the screen. But before that I would like to apologize in the previous tutorial I was not able to properly close the tutorial but hopefully it won't happen again. Okay. For today Let's continue. Uh, so what we did last time is we have the connection settings. We should be able to connect. And so we click OK. We should be able to log in. So normally, what would happen is that every time a, an application is running, it is expected that it's already connected to the server. Uh, however, in this case, uh, it's a little bit tedious, but we will have another tutorial in which case that the application will automatically try to establish the connection once the application is run. Uh, for this, in for for our case, it's not going to be like that. Every time to, every time you run this program, you need to establish the connection first. Okay, so hopefully we will try to avoid that one, and then we will do the login by typing in your username and then password, and then we click okay so that it would display this one all right so let us continue this was uh, let me see where was our pro application last time i think this is the one that we have so in the login we are going to do a simple authentication uh, well this is just a very simple one so you can look for other authentication ways so what the one I'm showing you or I will be showing is just a very plain simple SQL statement and then if the result if there's a result then there's a match if there's none there's 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 no match just like that okay so how do we do the authentication so once we, let me rename this one first, BTN Connect, this one also. So if you know this, by the way, there's an underscore for, uh, for the first letter. So how do you do that one? So all you have to do is just, you see the ampersand before the letter C. Yeah, that's for shortcut. And this one also. I just place the ampersand before the letter L. So in that way, you can press in your keyboard one. This is run when you want to connect. All you have to do is press Alt C. Okay, so that should make it much easier for you. Okay, so once we have established the connection, it will show the database settings. Once we establish, uh, once we are connected, it will bring us here. Okay. We supply the username and password and then we click this should be okay not connect right so this should allow us an option that your username is good or let's just say login and this one let's change this one to like that So here we will try to, once you have supplied the username and password, we are going to send a query to our database to check if there's a match to our, what do you call this, to our username and password. So I already have here the code for us to query. Just pause this program or this video rather, and then try to check on this code. Okay. So you have that one. You do the QRY select, set of false, clear and set the text. Now, remember our username and password is coming from the Northwind database under the table, okay, table employees. Did you remember that? And then we have the field, we have added a field, username and password. That's what we are going to call, okay? So we have this one, the username and password. So 
Let me just minimize that. So we select the username password from employees where username is equal to the username.txt, okay, plus the password, okay, that would be your query. Then set it true. And what happens if there's a result? Okay, so how do we check that one? So it's one way to do it is if this set query is sent to the database server and it returns back to us a query, then it tells us that query has a match. Or if it has a corresponding record count, meaning at least one, then there's a match for the username and password. So their account exists. So how do we verify? So if DM, the data module, Okay, before we do that, uh, we have not used the unit first. So we need to establish or use the data module. So again, don't forget to use unit data module so that we are given access to it. Then if dm dot mycon dot, sorry, we should go directly to the data set dot record count. Okay, dot record count is not equal to zero then begin and let me just type that ahead so what we're going to do is we display the username of the user in the uh, stat server panel you see this one here okay we're going to display the username of the user so uh, let me just change this one let me let me copy this one to make it easier. Okay. So under here we have a username plus what do we have? Uh, well, we'll just have the user. We just have to copy the one inside the box, and then. Once it is true, then we display. We display, but before we display, we hide ourselves first. Self that uh, we do this one later. Uh, we display the main form. That okay. So again, we do not have the main form, so we need to do. Uh, what do you call this? FRM main. Oh, sorry, we have not created this form yet. Let me see. Nope, we do not have. Oh, I see. I'm used to uh, having my main form name as FRM main. So that's why. FRM main. And then, how do you want this one? Uh, let's. The caption should be main menu. And then normally if you have your main screen the state once it is loaded should be maximized so everything here can be seen so you have the option to place your buttons uh, just like this one you see the file edit search you can do that one using this main menu component another one is using I'm not so sure if they have what they call the. Uh, it should be a third party component if it's not here. Uh, what do you call this? You can have plain uh, speed button here. You can use speed button and play with panels. This one is actually a very good. It's, it ha you can add an icon to this button called speed button but nevertheless uh, what I'm trying to emphasize here is that this is the main menu let's just display or the main form rather main form so later on this is where we place our menu where we display also the uh, as an initial application we will have the records displayed here and then the add the, the delete option right let me just place that one here just to give us an idea that this is a main form and then what we will do next again don't forget to save okay and 
normally just like that main form don't forget the file name and the name of the form should should not be the same okay i'm using the unit main form then let me just verify something here since we're going to use a data module you want to make sure that our data set is connected or has a connection see that one it's missing so it needs to these two must talk to each other so my con is our primary connection any data set that we add in here should be connected to the data con so they are on the same connection right so one application one connection after which what if the return value is equal to zero what happened so let's just say that there's an error and then uh, let's see oh this should be one because the first the zero pan the first option there is actually for the server status this one is for the username and let's just display uh, the username here would be just black and then we display a message that it needs to I just copy a code here that one message DLG username and password is invalid okay let's see we establish the connection this one is working it will display settings which we connect we go back here then we can provide the username and password we click login query is sent if there are any records return we display a username and then if not we display invalid before we show the main form we'll just see it first if this username will be displayed so in our case our server status is disconnected once the application is started but later on we'll try to modify that one that every time the application is run it will already establish the connection but for this time it's still manual connect connected the username and password we have here is nancy and admin so nancy what if we type i'm i want to uh, uh misspell it okay the password okay username password is invalid so let me have it right okay so you see here the nancy is now displayed in the username okay so this time we'll try to enable the form show model but you'll notice here once we run this one uh, nancy admin mm -hmm. we somehow miss something let's see ah okay let's try to capture an exception error here some error handling let me see so if ever there are any errors here we should be able to avoid it okay so now we have created a simple login screen Andrew one two three four five and voila we have the main form so this is now we have the menu here whatever things that we want to display here at the bottom we want to display date date and time and whatever it takes okay that's it i hope you learned from that so next tutorial we're going to cover the added it delete already are we good thank you for listening and see you next time